Hi everyone, I am Mrs. Broberg. I'm the drama teacher here at South. I teach Drama 1, Drama 2, and Musical Theater, and I would love to have you in my class. In Drama 1, we learn the basics of acting. The fun projects that we do are a green screen newscast where you learn how to edit video and a stuffed animal skit. We do other fun projects as well. Drama 1 is a semester long and it is a prerequisite for Drama 2 and musical theater. In Drama 2, we rehearse and perform the school play. The rehearsals are all just during class, but the performances are after school. It's a semester long class that you can sign up for after taking Drama 1. Musical theater is a year-long class where we rehearse the school musical. It's for students that love to sing, dance, and act. Each year, we have performances after school in the spring. You're able to take this class if you've taken Drama 1 and Beginning Choir. As a seventh grader, you can audition if you are registered for Drama 1 and Beginning Choir. Audition information is on the school's registration page. Yearbook is a class that you apply to be in. This is the class that makes the school yearbook. So in order to be in the class, you need to have a 3.5 GPA with no ends or use and a teacher recommendation. And you fill out an application. The people who will be selected are the people that have the most demonstrated skill, who are responsible and super excited about recording the year. This is a group of kids that have to be really self-motivated and they have to want to work with like the student government kids and be a part of activities and events and go to games. So if you're somebody that really loves to be involved and you would like to make something that will last forever, a memory that's going to last, then yearbook is a class you should really consider. It's open to 8th and ninth graders. So the two beginning choir classes that we have here at South Ogden Junior High are men's choir and women's choir. Um, the men's choir is just with the men so that I can work on those changing voices with you. And the women's choir is just with women. And that one usually does fill up pretty fast. So make sure that you register for that if you're interested in doing that. Again, it's just the beginning choirs and we learn how to read music. You don't need to have any prior knowledge. It's non-audition. So you come and you learn how to read music. We sing a lot of really fun songs together. We do fun rhythms. We uh, do all kinds of fun stuff in that class. And um, you have two concerts um, for that, a concert at the end of each term, but there's no performing in front of the school. Uh, it's just evening concerts in front of your parents. Um, and it's just a really great, fun beginning class. So if you're interested in ever auditioning for Spartones or Spartan Choir, that's the class you want to take first. Spartan Choir is our intermediate uh, group that is an audition group. So you will need to audition. Um, auditions will be end of March, beginning of April. And Spartan Choir is an all women's group and um, it has a few more performance opportunities. Not only do we have the concerts at the end of each term, but you'll have a performance at Bonneville High School with their women's group. And it's just a really, really great group to do a little bit more advanced music and have a really great time. So make sure if you're interested in Spartan Choir to audition in end of March, beginning of April. Uh, our advanced choir here is called Spartones. That is a class that is um, an audition class, so you'll need to audition. Those auditions will be held at the end of March, beginning of April, and it is a combined men and women's group, and it is of eighth or ninth graders. So if you're interested in auditioning for Spartones, we have a lot of performance opportunities. We go to Bonneville and perform as well. We also go um, to Temple Square at Christmas time and perform there. And we have a great district festival at Weber State in the spring. So if you're interested in being in Spartones, make sure that you sign up for auditions at the end of March, beginning of April. 
We offer a music appreciation class here as well. And that's basically a class that just is like a general fine arts credit. So maybe you're not the kind of person who wants to take choir, you don't really sing, you're, you don't play an instrument, band or orchestra, and you just kind of need a class that will feel that fine arts credit and that general requirement. Music appreciation will be a great class for you to take. In that class, we learn just some, we learn basics of music, how to read music. Um, we also will do a lot of music listening to different types of music, different genres of music. Um, we'll do a little bit of music history, uh, some learning rhythms, doing rhythm stuff, and also there will be a unit on rock and roll history. So if that sounds like something that would be interesting to you, um, if you're not involved in some of the other um, fine arts uh, in the building, and there's no performing in that class. So it's just, it's just a basic music appreciation class. So if that's something that you're looking for, then sign up for music appreciation. I'm excited to announce that next year we will be offering a dance class, um, a beginning dance class here at South. Um, and it's going to be a class where we explore and discover about movement and dance and how um, dance can be a great form of exercise as well as a great um, way to express ourselves through the arts. Um, so it's going to be a fun, like I said, beginning class where we'll be learning um, some basic movement skills um, and steps and you'll also have a chance to uh, choreograph and, and use your creativity to create some dances of your own. I didn't see you there. My name's Mr. Van Bibber, and I teach band and orchestra here at South Ogden Junior High. I want to tell you about the seventh grade classes that you can take. There's beginning brass, beginning woodwinds, beginning percussion, and beginning orchestra. In beginning brass, that class you can learn trumpet, French horn, tuba, trombone. In woodwinds, you can learn the flute or the clarinet or the bassoon or the oboe or a saxophone. In beginning percussion, that's where we learn a whole bunch of different instruments like the snare drum or the marimba or the, the bass drum. You get to learn all of those. In orchestra, we get to learn either the violin, the viola, the cello, or the bass. After you participate in a, a beginning band class, you'll be able to move on to the concert band or the Spartan band. And we also have an after-school jazz band. After you participate in a beginning orchestra class, then you'll, you get to move on and participate in the advanced orchestra class. As a member of one of the band or orchestra classes, we get to do a lot of fun things. We get to travel on field trips and go perform places. We get to perform concerts, and we have a lot of fun in some of our after-school activities. Really, I want to see you in one of our classes, beginning woodwinds, beginning brass, beginning percussion, or beginning orchestra, and I'll see you next year. Go Spartans!
video production is a class for ninth graders that teaches you all about how to make videos. So it goes over things like shot size and angle and the way that the camera moves. It is a class where we learn a little bit about what you should put in a video in the first place and how to make a story good. And then a lot about what does it look like? What is the sound quality like? What is the lighting like? and we're able to dissect those things and then create some really awesome videos in the process. So if you are interested in video production, if you're interested in ever doing anything that has to do with film or movies, this is the class for you. And also, if you're just somebody that doesn't plan on ever being in the film industry, but you would really like to make better videos, this is a great class. Hi, this is Mrs. Swalberg. I wanted to give you a little bit of information about the classes that I teach at South Junior High. I teach the ninth grade foods class and we learn how to cook and make a lot of fun things. We even talk a little bit about nutrition. I also teach child development and we learn about the development of an infant through preschooler. And we have a lot of fun, do a lot of craft projects and um, food. Also, I teach um, sewing and textiles and we learn how to sew and we make pajama bottoms, bags, and a lot of other fun things. Hello, I'm Mr. Alder. I teach CTE classes. You might have had me in CCA or digital literacy. I wanted to tell you about my ninth grade classes. Big secret, they're fun. Fun. You can use power tools, wear fancy equipment, and make cool things like tops. I don't know if you can see that, it spins. Pins. Oh my gosh, look at this. You're going to learn to weld in manufacturing, making cool little things out of metal. And also, a chair. Look at that. By the end of the class, you'll make something this cool. Not a lot of assignments, really easy to get a good grade. You should check me out. Construction tech and manufacturing, join us. Hola. If you want to learn to read, write, and speak, one of the fastest growing languages in the world, a language that over half a billion people speak, and one that will allow you to communicate with over 80% of the world, assuming you're already pretty good at English, then Spanish is the language for you. By taking Spanish, you're not only learning the language, you're also learning about the diverse, amazing culture of Latin America and Spain. And best of all, by taking three or more years of another language, you're gaining an advantage when it comes to college admissions and scholarships. Colleges love students who are willing to go above and beyond expectations. Spanish is not only fun, it's also really easy to learn. So join us. When you're selecting your electives for next year, pick Spanish, and we'll see you soon. Hasta pronto.
Hi, I'm Miss Lenhart. I teach creative writing here at South. Creative writing is all about the fun and the joy of creating stories. So if you've ever wanted to write a poem or a short story or a, even a book, but weren't sure how to go about getting started, um, then this is the class for you. So creative writing one will focus on creating fun characters, how to add plot, how to add plot twists, how to kind of pull in your reader and make them want to keep reading. Um, we'll also learn a little bit about different forms of poetry and just have a lot of fun getting to know ourselves and the kind of stories that we like to tell. Um, in the advanced creative writing class, which is second semester, um, we'll go a little bit deeper into creating worlds for more developed like fantasy and science fiction stories. Um, we'll talk even more in depth about different forms of poetry um, and creative devices that we can use to get our readers really like sucked in and not want to put our book down. Um, so if you love writing and just want a chance to share and grow your stories um, and really find your voice as a writer, then this is the place for you.